we needed something to do for the youth. And so we had the idea of the Junior Civic Association. Get kids in school and uh, get them involved in productive things so they can be um, positive leaders in the community. It needs people to just care about these kids and care about them long term and, and be involved and participate. Many of them don't have the type of home environments where they're going to get some of the nurturing that they, they need to. For them to have a house that they can call a home that's a safe beacon from, from all the negativity that may be out there on the streets, it's just going to be a, a great blessing for this neighborhood and for Tampa in general. What we really need to focus on in, in this community in particular is places for the youth to go where they can be embraced outside of the, the you know standard school system. It was a, a church for decades, but it, it sat vacant for quite a few years. Every week, DOT had to pay someone to come in and re-secure the building because people were constantly breaking in. I don't know much about Waypoint Homes, but I know they, they're doing a lot. I tell you, they have done a tremendous job. When they came in, the atmosphere is that we're going to help you get this building open. And that's what we, we really appreciate, you know, coming in, helping us get there, and, and seeing some of the things that we need and kind of tackling it right then and there. So we appreciate Waypoint for what they're doing. Waypoint has just been absolutely awesome as far as the work that they've done. Having dozens of people here providing labor, they've also provided some materials. Waypoint coming in with all their skilled and craft people, they are able now to finish all of those small detail things because it's a historic building. Waypoint coming is just like the best time we can have them doing the little things that we could not figure out who was going to do, how they were going to get done, and it really is going to drive us to soft open in March. The building is beautiful, and when it's finished, it's a benefit for our neighborhood, it's a benefit for our historic district. I'm excited about being able to get more teenagers like off the streets and allowing them to like be, do well in school. I've been exposed to like multiple colleges and a lot of successful people and I got to learn a lot from them. It's been a second home, it's gave me a place to go and a, something to do.